very good evening to one and all and i welcome you to my session on facebook marketing basics part 2 in this session i would like to focus on my objective and my objective i'm very clear an ad is a brand and target the need not the product this is something which i want to convey through this video and let's get started so just to give you a picture this person's name is saurav jain and he is a digital influencer and in fact lot of concepts that i'm able to present to you all i have learned from him so basically i have attended a quite a number of webinars that he conducts and look at the way he actually does his marketing he says if you want to become a highly paid instagram influencer there is a free, free webinar that i am conducting or offering and is there is a call to action please register and we have very few seats only 100 seats are available uh, for this free webinar so obviously we all will sign up and we will go through his course and basically his pictures are quite appealing they are able to grab the attention of the people and he is coming with a great uh, interest me if you want to become a digital influencer please join my session and there is a desire that he is creating by saying that register for free webinar so that's how he is marketing and basically he is trying to create a need for everybody to learn something because it is coming free of cost i hope you understand yes now coming to the basics of digital marketing the basic terminologies that you all should know about facebook facebook falls under the category of search engine marketing in digital marketing that means whenever you want to run some ads you are running it on facebook and facebook will charge you some money for it so we need to understand two things whenever we decide to you know put something on facebook what is our objective is it something related to demand fulfillment or is it something related to demand generation for example if a customer needs something he comes to search query bar and type something there that means he is having an unfulfilled need which he is trying to fulfill by searching for some product on the platform whichever online marketer will approach him first he will make a sale because he has a need and it has to be fulfilled and is ready to pay for it now coming to the case of demand generation the person does not have a need you have to you know develop that need in him and let him know that i have something which will satisfy this need and also ensure that you tell him great stories and tell him how he can achieve his uh, dreams maybe unexpected gains if i need to tell him so how can he travel from uh, you know the current existing state to fulfill his unexpected gains is what we need to explain him and thereby you can generate demand for our product now i want to talk about the difference between a sales person and a marketer because in one of the comments in previous video somebody asked me to explain this basically a sales person is somebody who is trained on the features of the product and he is expected to sell the product to the customers and he is only having knowledge about the product and his core objective is i need to make a sale i'll get some commission but when you come to a marketer a marketer is a professional approach the person who will target the needs of the customer remember the first slide the caption that i told you he is a brand you have to create a brand for yourself and for your product you need to study your audience understand your audience persona understand your brand personality brand persona and try to create a connection between the two if i need to say in simple terms a marketer is basically a broker who will actually try to you know join two things the first thing as i told you it's basically the customers need and the personality the audience persona with the brand persona 
when he talks about the brand persona to the audience the audience should fall in love with it and start purchasing it so simply that is what is the role of a marketer so he has to ensure or we all should ensure that whenever we are designing some ads on facebook we should be following the ida approach so what is this ida you have to create or develop attention towards what you are saying once the attention is grabbed you need to develop some kind of interest and a desire for action so once you create attention interest and desire they will act and when they act you actually have a conversion so we need to follow a three step process i would like to say it as a story triangle approach whenever we meet people we need to try discussing with them have a personalized touch and try to identify their untold pains and if you know about your product persona or the brand pers persona you need to match it to the audience persona and probably try to sell this product to them and help them how they can realize this unexpected gains with our help so that is what a marketer does so for example if i need to sell a plot which is worth 3 crore rupees i need to first know whether this person has a necessity to buy a plot whether he has an own house or he is looking to get one for his for himself and what is his budget so i cannot directly say him hey i have some three crore property will you buy it that's a sales person's job i need to try to develop a connect probably have some free visits take him to some places and probably then you know uh, try to explain that i have something great and in case somebody takes it these are the, these are the benefits he has and then try to take him to the unexpected gains and tell him that probably i can give a discount uh, and create a desire and then ensure there is an action that he takes in terms of purchasing the product i hope you are very clear with it now i'm going to explain you with lot of lot of uh, you know case studies and advertisements so before we get into practical session of facebook this particular part is very important because this will complete the theory of the facebook so look at this dear entrepreneur whenever i've ever wondered why digital marketing is so complicated and overwhelming so you are telling that untold pains okay so probably he is not familiar with the digital marketing thing then i have some good news for you and you are telling about an unexpected gain after being a student of hundreds of marketing masters for the past 10 years i have created a system that's 99% marketing and 1% digital it is i call it the 4r facebook funnel so you are actually telling him that by joining my session you would be gaining something called as a 4r facebook funnel and then you are talking about how will this untold pains can be converted into unexpected gains for him the system is based on the success of my students like you are giving an example of a you are doing a social proofing here what do i mean by social proofing you are giving an example of some real time personality in the social platform who has actually taken the course and probably he has run some ads and he was able to convert 13 out of 24 leads that he was generated which is probably close to 60% or more than 50% and how could he generate thousand times the return on investment and the event management uh, and a training company for his company so you are telling about how he could achieve it so you are talking about a story fantastic story how one can move from untold pains to and travel and reach to his unexpected gains so this is all about the story triangle remember the story triangle this is something you need to keep in mind when you are designing your facebook ads and also you need to keep the ida approach in mind these two things will help you successful on facebook let us look at this ad the moment i saw this ad or for instance for everybody who are there watching my video the first thing that grabs our attention is the beautiful smile a clear smiling indian face so this is something that's going to grab our attention and then it's so vibrant the colors are so you know amazing yellow with the contrast and the face is so very clear visible clear smiling 
and it's like 20 80 rule that was followed that is 80 percent of the content is filled with images and 20 percent is a text so 80 20 text uh, or image text rule is being followed so short descriptions it's very clear it's talking about tiktok ads in india okay so it's creating interest because i use tiktok a lot so obviously i feel yes there's something of interest for me it's in bold dark letters and once attention is grabbed interest is there then they need to create a desire for the product so how are they creating desire spend 2000 rupees get 2000 free credits now so if you're spending 2000 you're getting the credit back and that is applicable right now so they're talking about urgency do it today and they're giving you a sign up button so that you can sign up with them and complete your transaction which is called as an action so attention interest desire action this is followed on facebook and that's how we was uh, you know this ad was successful so i call it as a one crore facebook ad and this belongs to demand generation we remember we discussed about demand fulfillment and demand generation so this is related to demand generation see studying is a necessity but studying in australia is not a necessity for all you need to create the demand so many people who don't uh, or probably who have that purchasing power or a buying capacity would not go for it considering that i need to attend for an ielts exam or something so the first thing that attracts for anybody is it's a one crore facebook ad so you have to go through this case study so that is how i'm grabbing your attention and we are clearly saying that uh, uh, attention interest see here there is a live chat that has been recorded and you know is showcased to you all he would have more than thousand leads by creating this particular ad and he got 32 students who have enrolled making a revenue of close to 65 lakhs so don't you think that was fantastic by running just one facebook ad and he says that it's fantastic amazing one sentence facebook ad can do so basically this is just a one sentence grab the opportunity and study in australia so attention has been grabbed they have generated the interest and they're telling study in australia without ielts you need not face any ielts exam just go and study there and you get a certificate from australia so they're generating demand by giving something uh, by removing a barrier and then there is an action button apply now if you apply now you can do it so this is one more ad see always remember social proofing helps a lot on facebook whenever you have somebody who actually followed your advice ask them for their testimonials and put them in your facebook and let people know that this is how i help one of my friends do this and he is a successful person when people tend to see some new faces they try to get connected a lot so this is an ad that was created during the launchathon he is mr gunny and they says that he made a money making website in 7 days and how you can also do it so he's telling when an old man can do it probably why can't you do it so they are telling you that it's just possible in 7 days so they're trying to generate attention they're trying to generate interest and they're trying to tell you that you can make a money making website so that is a desire and action is please sign up with us and we will also help you like how we help them so from your untold pains we are taking you to a uh, taking you a journey till the unexpected gains so this is followed yes so untold pains unexpected gains what is a gain more than almost you see 10 lakh rupees that were earned more than million rupees in revenue with just one facebook ad so the secret to lower cost per lead always remember people will like share comment if they feel there is a need for it i see a lot of youtube channels where people will say if you like my ad please subscribe or like it or share it but i would say that if the content is strong people will themselves promote it you know ask them for promotion if there is something good for it they will themselves do the job so if you are able to tell a brand 
a new story on Facebook and make it popular with a appealing ad, your prospects will interact. You can convert your strangers into friends and friends into trust followers and trusted followers into customers. And when you have good customers, good following and people trust that, yes, this person will only tell something that is right and he will only talk about products which he has tested on himself and then only he will say that this is best about the product. Then you gain an online reputation on the social media and when you actually promote something which you have actually tried and tested and you're confident that people will like it and it will fulfill their un uh, unfulfilled need or uh, demand, then they will automatically promote it. There will be a good word of mouth for you and that will reduce your cost per lead. So if I'm running an ad, I'm spending say 1000 rupees. Out of 1000 rupees, I got 50 or maybe 100 people who are interested and registered with me. So 100 is my leads that I was generated. 1000 is the total money I spend. So 1000 by 100, almost I'm spending 10 rupees for getting one lead. That is called as cost per lead. So let us take this example. These two are two ad sets. That means two similar ad copies within the same ad set which were promoted on Facebook. So both of them similarities, they used, they used these emojis. This is talking about the same price. Even this is talking about the same price. But this ad went to a lot of people and the number of leads that was generated is eight uh, or at the cost of 870 rupees per lead we got so many leads the same number of leads when we were actually trying to run a different ad for the same product with this kind of a ad set or advertising copy we got at 403 rupees what do you think is the difference this is talking about the interior decoration here you are just seeing like any other building. Most of the building people do this mistake. They just show a gated community. Yes, but that's an old concept now. People are expecting something new. Tell them how the interior would look like and tell them that this is where you need to invest. We have one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom apartments and you mentioned the location. It's near to DLFIT thing. Everything is fine and you're talking about everything and you've taken pictures of the interior and you're posting it that will get you more leads. So if you look at it, this is again, you know, uh, considered as consideration under lead generation advertisements, which I'm going to explain in detail in the forthcoming slides. One more real estate ad, same ad. So they're trying to actually say, uh, you know, release an ad for Pamal, some coming for around 40 lakhs per apartment. And this is almost like inclusive everything. So basically this Pamal is located very remote from Chennai, almost two hours journey away from Chennai and it's located something around deep in the forests. So when you actually showcase something like this, you hardly, uh, your cost per lead was around 912 rupees. It was very high. But when you actually took only this image and you enlarged it and followed this 80 percent image and 20 percent text rule and promoted in the local language, then they feel like, okay, it's not a big apartment. It's almost like an independent house and you have sufficient spacing. I feel I'll be comfortable and I'll be safe at this point. So probably more leads started nourishing and coming to your ad. So that's how the cost per lead got reduced here. This is an other simple ad, you know, where if you look at it, they both were used for the same design. But the purpose is different. Here they're talking about selling some, uh, you know, ladies' garments. And here, if you look at it, they're talking about some space that is available, restaurant space. You can scale your business by booking a restaurant space and market in India. So basically, what do you do? Whom do you target? You target most of the restaurant owners. But this ad was specifically targeted to restaurant admins how is it possible because in facebook you can classify people basis their employment what they are doing their job titles so basically they targeted restaurant admins and they just tried uh, running it and they got it for around 650 rupees per lead 
So these are all examples which I have seen on Facebook. It's not something where I have tried and tested, but whatever I have heard through the webinars or sessions that I have gone through, I'm trying to accumulate everything on a single PPT and share it with you so that you understand concepts in a clear way. So here, if you look at it, this is one more ad where he's talking about non-surgical knee replacement. If you are suffering with a knee pain, we are providing you a non-surgical uh, treatment for knee pain. The same doctor, you can see he is using something and he's just explaining something and he's given you a call to action like consult now and the need is for knee pain. So you have highlighted it to grab the attention and you're telling the desire. It does not require any surgery. You're generating desire and obviously they will take an action by signing up. Now the mistake that they did was the ad was targeted to people with 50 to 70 years old people. Now the problem is hardly anybody use internet who are above 50 years nowadays. Internet was a new thing for them and even today it's a new thing for them. So who should have been targeted? Ideally people between 35 to 50 years so that the working community have to work on the internet today and they're pretty much familiar and they are the ones who will take care of their parents, their mother, their father and ensure that they are properly taken care. So ideally you should have targeted to the right audience. If the audience are not properly targeted, if your brand persona is not meeting, meeting your audience persona, then your ads will not do good on Facebook. I'm repeating it again. Thank you. Next. So this is a very important slide. This is the main page in Facebook advertisement. When you go to Facebook ads manager, it gives you options like this. So you can actually create 11 objectives from your ad campaigns. A campaign is nothing but you're running some advertisement related stuff on Facebook and looking at the campaign, you try to generate awareness generate reach or maybe you can get more leads and conversions. So mostly people use awareness, brand awareness in awareness. So awareness is nothing but I come up with a new product. Nobody knows me in the market. I need to create some awareness. So I will tell Facebook, I am going to run a campaign, show my ad in all possible applications. So for example, you open a Yahoo, you're checking your mail. Suddenly some scrolling will come. So that is like an impression that is traveling. How many times the ad is shown to the people is called as an impression. So that is to create awareness to the people. Boss, I will, I have shown this. You have recently paid me thousand rupees for thousand rupees. I actually showed your ad to around thousand people. So your cost per impression is one rupee. So around thousand people are aware. So now when I'm designing my ad, I have to design it in such a way that I target people near to my, uh, you know, store so that more awareness is created and they're more likely to visit your store and become customers, right? So when it comes to reach, what do you mean by reach? Where actually do you want them to reach? So you're creating an awareness and probably I want them to reach my website. I want to create awareness that I have created a new website, personality development interview tips dot in. So I want to create awareness. So I run an ad, it will show impressions, everything is fine. But I want them to reach to my website and visit my website. So then I'll have to promote the link. Now, where do I want them to come? On a particular home page of my website. Maybe the second page of my website, which talks about interview tips, or maybe the third page of my website, which has blogs or stories, and I want you, I want them to go through them. So something like that. So the second part comes consideration. Traffic. If I have more people visiting my YouTube videos, then I can monetize my account and I can make money out of it. Similarly, if my ad reaches to uh, more number of people then Google might come up to me and say that hey, I would like to place some advertisements Why don't you actually uh, take an AdSense license? So if you take an AdSense license from Google, then you can earn money because they'll place ads on your website So it's all about generating traffic and that's one of the main objective for most of the website owners What about engagement? See, I post an ad on Facebook There are so many people who will like it. They will share it and they will comment on it so people who are interacting with my ads 
are more, most likely to be converted into customers. They have interacted because they have an inherent need which is similar to what I'm looking for and they are looking into my ad because they feel it is interesting. So app installation, See, maybe I'm coming up with some new apps and uh, somebody wants to just, uh, you know, install those particular apps. So when they want to actually install those particular apps, we are actually running one ad. Hey, I have a new app and uh, probably for the first 100 users, it's a free installation or maybe for the first one month, I'm giving it as a free installation. You can use it and from second month onwards, you will get charged. So probably I'm trying to generate that desire, attention, interest. So using my app, you can do this, this, this. So maybe related to games, related to some applications where you can design images or maybe you can do something else. So all this. So video views. Probably I might create a one minute video about coronavirus, which is the most fascinating thing. And I'll tell people don't come out, stay at homes, do something productive, invest in yourself. And this is a time to support everybody by staying at home. So when you are saying this 10 seconds video and you post it on social media, maybe your network will engage with you. They will like it. They will share it. You see a lot of celebrities doing like Katrina Kaif doing cooking, a simple 10 minutes, 10 seconds or 15 seconds video. So it want, they want that to be reached to many people. So obviously they will make it viral by paying money to Facebook that you show me these many, these many impressions. Let them consider my video by clicking on it and viewing it. So basically awareness is just like your ad will come. It will go. It, it is shown so many times by Facebook to its users. But consideration is the users are expected to take an action by clicking on it or sharing it or liking it or commenting on it. So this is a difference between awareness and consideration. Similarly, lead generation. This is something we use very often. So lead generation is nothing but you are actually trying to uh, showcase your products to somebody and you are expecting some people to come to your store, visit your store and you collect their database. You give them a form, name, contact number, email ID. You visit a store. You are given like name, contact number and this. You go to a brand factory. You go to some kind of a shopping mall. And there they'll give you, sir, we are doing some anniversary sale. Can you, can you please have your details? Can you drop in in the drop box? We're doing a lucky draw. So they're doing it on the physical store. Similarly, organizations started doing on the virtual brand where they'll give you a form and you need to fill in the form, give your details, and they will start selling the marketing products to you. The next comes conversion. What do you mean by conversion? Conversion is converting your leads into customer. Now, when you are having some leads coming here, the leads can be converted into customers and uh, you can start you know, selling some products to them. And the next important thing is uh, store visits and catalog sales. These are like, you see mostly them in, uh, you know, a news departmental store came recently. And, uh, or maybe there is a BMW car showroom which came recently to my area. So I'll go to the owner and I'll talk to them that I'll generate store visits for you because it's an expensive product and they might not know whom to target. They cannot use a traditional marketing. Probably I'll try to identify what are his advertising budgets. I'll say probably within that budget, I'll try to get him something through digital platform, take a commitment and probably run ads for him. And I will target people who are luxurious people who have very good high income. Like we discussed in the video number one, if you would have gone through it on Facebook, you would have identified that uh, we target people based on the income based on the kind of mobile apps they're using. Is it an iPhone user? Somebody who talks about luxurious products, are they high income group? So base is that I will do a detailed targeting where his advertising costs are less and he will get a, a lot of customers at a lower cost per lead. So this way Facebook will help you. I'm going to discuss in practical in the upcoming, uh, you know, um, what do you call this? Uh, videos of mine. So with this, I would like to end your session. Hope you like my session. Have a great day. Yes.